Shaved heads are catching on at a Metro high school. Even some teachers are doing it. But it's not the latest fashion trend. No, students are coming together for a classmate, a very good cause. Both students and faculty are offering their support for a classmate who was partially paralyzed in a freak accident that happened this past week. And the students are literally going to different lengths to show how much they care. And Channel 13's Mark Free joins us now from Studio B with his story. Mark? Well, John and Catherine, when Eagle Grove student Dan Lesher slipped and fell this past week, breaking vertebrae in his back and neck, his fellow students at Eagle Grove High found a unique way to rally around their friend. There's a familiar sight missing these days in the hall of Eagle Grove High. The shaved head of senior Dan Lesher, a popular student and starter on the basketball team, until he fell after getting out of a hot tub. He said he couldn't feel his legs or anything. Dan is recovering at Mercy Medical Center from surgery to stabilize his broken vertebrae. Back in Eagle Grove, students can't help but look for his bald head in the hallways. It's hard because, I mean, the bald head was just a sign of Dan, and that was his thing before. Without Dan's familiar shaved head, these hallways seemed, well, empty. So a lot of his friends put their heads together and came up with a way to change all that. Where once there was one shaved head, now there are dozens. Dan's friends also cut off their locks in a show of support. You just feel like you need to do something for him. And, you know, it's just really the least we can do. It just show your support and just be there for him. They miss him here both as a classmate and an athlete, and his closely cropped teammates got some strange looks from their last opponent. A few of them were kind of, kind of looked at us funny. We didn't have the greatest game, but it was the first game without him, so it was really tough. It's tough without him there, you know, he's a big three-point threat, and it just really, it really hurts not to have him on the team. But most of all, they miss him being here as a friend. He's very, very strong, and I know he can get through this, and I'll be by his side through the entire thing. I'm not going anywhere. And while their hair is gone, Dan's friends want him to know that their feelings are more than skin deep, and they're going to great lengths to show it. The whole school is pulling for him, the whole town. And after a seven-hour surgery, Dan now has movement in his arms, but doctors are not overly optimistic about his chances of walking again. His classmates all say they hope he recovers soon from his surgery and joins them back at school before graduation. John, Catherine. Okay, a great story. Thanks very much, Mark.